Okay, happy Sunday morning, everybody. So it's just before lunch. We're taking Crazy Pants for a walk. The dog, not Bob. Um, <laughs> well, I could, but that's kind of mean. Um, we sold my grandmother's old dining room chairs this morning to a lovely lady. So they are off to a new home. And I have somebody coming to pick up some yarn this morning. And I found a place in McMinnville, which is a little bit of a drive from here, called St. Bezzy's. And they not only do art for therapy classes, but they have a little thrift store. And I'm always like purging things. And I might be able to donate some stuff to them. So I sent them an email this morning. So yeah, it's been a good morning so far. Uh, got some chores done. I need to open my umbrella. I don't want to get wet and have to change my clothes. So yeah, we're gonna get some steps in. Hey I'll guys, be I would say good morning, but it's well after lunch. Uh, um, 2.18 p.m. I don't need any more bags. I make a lot of bags. I have a bag obsession and it's a thing. Every now and then I go through the bags, give a bunch of bags away. Yeah, but I had a particular idea for a bag that wasn't leaving me alone. Literally kept, was keeping me up at night. And so I made it today. And it has to do with making amigurumi. And it's this one. Um, it is really fat right now, but it is holding up. Um... Yeah, hold on a second. Down right there. So it has a zip. It goes almost all the way around. So that when you open it, it can open flat. It has these two layers in here to keep the yarn balls in place. And when you, oh, these come completely off. And then you have basically a tray of all of your yarn colors to make the little amigurumi with. When you're done, I do have it really full right now, and I probably don't need to have it that full, but let me just shoot because you can, there's a lot of yarn in here. Tuck the little ends in, squeeze it together. The yarn is pretty squishy. like a portable yarn tray and the portable yarn tray fits in my bag with enough room for everything else I need to put in here. Did I need to make another bag? No. Did I? Yes. Am I upset about it? No. So there's that. I'll be back. Hey guys. Once I finished with my sewing project, I sat and started on a new crocheted stuffy. I'm making a reindeer and uh, he might be a multi-day project, but anyway, it's dark. Some of my neighbors already have their Christmas lights up. I don't, oh, you can kind of see it back there. Uh, it's wet. What it, yeah, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but the Christmas decorations are already going up. Anyway. We're taking Crazy Nut Job, the dog, for a walk um, before dinner. So anyway, I got to watch where I'm going because it's dark out. Okay, I'll be back. So I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday, but I did make a reindeer yesterday. I finished it. There's a picture here. Very cute pattern from Etsy. I'll try to remember to link it down below. If I forget, somebody remind me. Um, I also went and did some grocery shopping for the kids. They're headed home today from their vacation. So I went and made sure that their fridge is stocked up with food so I don't have to go anywhere later tonight. Um, what else? I did do some final touches on my new yarn bag. It's literally a yarn bag that goes inside my crochet bag. It's like a yarn tray, bag tray. Oh, nice. Waiting in the cell phone parking lot again at the airport. There's someone picking the kids and grandson up 
from their trip that they just went on. Traffic sucked. I left the house even a little earlier than I thought I needed to. It still sucked. I just got here and their plane landed before I got here. Thank goodness I think they checked bags because, yeah, they're not ready yet, so. And I had a lot of plans for today, my last day of no babysitting. Did I get any of it done? Mm -mm. Nope, not a thing. <laughs> That's all right. Hey guys. I know it's really dark. It's, and it's cold. It's only 6.14 p.m. and it's 45 degrees outside. Um, I didn't do anything creative today and I haven't vlogged before now because I got up really early this morning to get a few chores done before Junior came for babysitting today. Now he went on a vacation with his parents and they got back last night. Baby's jet lagged. Like, oh my God, he was okay today considering, but if, if I had let him, he could have just slept all day, kind of, when he could sleep. He also had trouble going to sleep and he didn't want to do a lot. No, he, he was wobbly too. He was wobbly, I had trouble, he had trouble with his balance and stuff. It's, it's just jet lag. Anyway, um, he's a cute cutie pie. He already loves the new chairs in the front room. So he can, and he can get up on them and the sofa and things by himself. He's starting to crawl up on furniture. Yeah. So anyway, we are out going to do our grocery shopping early. We're going to do it tonight for the week. Um, also for family dinner night so we can just get it over with. That means I can do some art and creativity tomorrow, catch up on daily drawings, maybe film a junk journaling video, and um, stuff like that. So, and then this weekend, I don't know what we're gonna get up to. It kind of depends on weather. So there's that. But we do have to go Thanksgiving shopping and we aren't doing that tonight. So maybe this weekend, probably this weekend. Maybe, yeah. So. Anyway, I'll be back.
Hi guys, <laughs> things are a mess over here. So I'm reorganizing my amigurumi yarn a little bit so that it's easier for me to find colors um, when I'm looking for them. Um, so that's happening. Um, I think I know what I wanna do. I need to go get some storage containers to do it with because I don't have the right ones. Kids just went on a vacation to Ireland and they were so sweet. They brought me back some um, dongle tweed wool and mm, the shade number is 1FC4644. It is by Blarney Woolen Mills and it is the prettiest shade of red. Um, 100% pure new wool. I'm squinting because my reading glasses are far away. <laughs> I've been doing that all day. Oh, God. Um, if they have a website, I'll put it down below. Um, pretty much everybody has a website these days, but not everybody. Um, they've been in business evidently since 1823. That's a long time. Anyway, I look forward to um, making a hat or something out of it for myself. Um, we went out today and I had to buy myself a new stapler because my old one broke. And... You know what? I got the oldie but goodie brand swing line. So that's a thing. Um, and I am gonna sort and put all of my stuff, things I use to stuff the amigurumi in here, take that batting out and put it in there. Um, I use polyfill, cause that's, yeah. Also, like if I have, old pillows or something that have gotten a hole in it. I'll give it a really good wash and then I will use the stuffing from that. Um, I also use fabric and yarn scraps. I will cut them up really tiny and then use those. So nothing really gets thrown out or wasted. Um, we don't do that around here. So anyway, it's been a good day. We went out and went um, and um, did a little shopping um, just because and drove, went on a nice drive down to McMinnville and hit a few shops down there. Found a new to us grocery store, Roth's Fresh Markets. Never heard of them before, but holy cow, I was impressed. Nice quality of products, um, nice staff, really pleasant store, had a few things we've been looking for and haven't been able to find. So a new place to go looking for things that you need uh, is always a good thing. Anyway, that's it for this today and this week. I have been working on my dragon that I'm working on. It's a pattern by Complicated Knots, who I've mentioned before. I'll link her um, Etsy shop and YouTube channel down below. Go check her out. And if I remember to tell you which pattern it is, I'll let you know. She has it free on her YouTube channel or the written one. You can purchase it over in her Etsy shop. Um, I prefer to work from a written pattern, but it's nice to have the video when you get stuck on parts. It Her patterns really are like sculpture with yarn. And that's not a bad thing. If you want to do just simple, easy amigurumi, she does have a few patterns that are simple, easy. The dragon is not one of them. So, and she does, she does tell you which one. She's really good. Anyway, she's very inspiring. Um, so go check her out. And I, otherwise, I think that's it this week. Husband's off all of next week. So we may go do some thrifting together. We're, um, of course, have Thanksgiving here in the U.S. coming up. So all the kids will be coming over and all of the things. So I look forward to all of that. And, um, it is going to be interesting. I'm feeling a little bit better, but we're working on it still. And um, I have homework to catch up on and stuff. Bob's gonna go hang out with one of the son-in-laws tomorrow. I'm gonna go probably get the bins and storage things that I want, and we will take it from there. <sighs> anyway, feeling better, you know, but one day at a time. I was up here initially looking to see if I had more of this color. It's the one color I don't have any more of. This is one of the dinosaur legs. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's okay. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm going to sort this batting out. And uh, I was going to say clean up my mess, but I can't do that right now. 
Anyway, go back downstairs, work on my dragon, play some games on my tablet, memory type things, and um, then call it a night. I hope you guys have had a good week. I hope you find some kind of usefulness, usefulness in the videos on my channel, old ones or new ones. There's a lot of stuff on my channel, um, more than a thousand videos. I don't, there's probably more than that even. Um, I've been on YouTube now for 12 years, you guys, 12 years, 12 years. Uh, that's a long time. Um, so check out some of my older videos, go back and scroll through the channels the channel and see, you know, there's some slow stitching. There's a lot of painting videos. There's journaling videos. If you want to see some of my other content, uh, like stuff I used to do for Crazy Island Family, that's in the Patreon's only channel. They have their private channel and they have stuff over there you won't ever see over here. So check out the video description for my Patreon. Join up, go get the links over there and check that out. And uh, yeah, Ways to support the free content here on YouTube. There's a lot of ways. They're down in the video description. Check it out. All right. That's it for right now. I'm going to head back downstairs. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.